we were just talking about Blackstone's commentaries, and again, it's, it's just Blackstone's comments, his opinions, his commentary. It's, he's not saying this is the way it is. He's saying this is what he believes. And I'm sure there's, you know, 3,812 other Blackstones in England at that time who had their own opinions, too. But for some reason, his book stuck around. So it's just his damn. It's just his opinion. That's what I try to tell every real time. Just because some man lived two, three, four, five, a thousand, two, three thousand years ago, it's just his opinion. It's just what he witnessed at that time. So can we, you know? So if somebody says, "Well, Blackstone says to do this," it's like, "Oh, dude, just just give it a rest." <laughs> you know, because the other three thousand eight hundred eleven guys, they had opposite opinions. Did you read their books? It's like, well, no, I just read Blackstone's. It's like I said about, you know, no Webster's Dictionary in 1828. Everybody in uh, England, you know, the the book review said that the that, that dictionary was a travesty uh, to the English language. They, he totally mutilated the English language. But everybody today, they run right back to Webster's Dictionary when they want to find a definition or meaning of a word. Nobody runs the same, you know, the Johnsons, the the, the the father and the son, Jay and uh, Samuel Johnsons. Nobody runs back to theirs, and that's what was popular in the United, States, you know, in America at that time. You know, nobody runs back and reads Tomlin's. Everybody goes and reads uh, Webster's. So, this is the biggest thing. This I, I see people doing this all the time. Some guy uh, had a pretty good shot at getting his kid back in Canada because the judge read it out in open court. But first of all, he did an affidavit, and I never say to do anything in an affidavit form. It's supposed to be a notice. And then he required the Supreme Court of uh, Ontario or whatever to, to restore his property. I said, that's ridiculous. I said, I can't believe this guy wrote this nonsense. I said, who, who, I said what's wrong with you people? I said, why, why are you requiring the, the Supreme Court of Ontario or the Justice Court of Ontario? Well, why are you requiring a tree to do anything? Why are you yelling at a rock? Why are you yelling at a twig? Well, I'm going to take this to the Supreme Court. You're going to take it to a rock. You're going to go argue with a twig. You're going to argue with the Supreme Court. What Supreme Court? It's ridiculous. You're going to present your claim to a man. And you're going to have a man bear witness. And if no other man comes forth and says that it's not true, or they got a superior claim, or they have a vested interest in your claim, then what the hell does it matter? What the hell the name of this ridiculous court saw? I mean, you guys are so effing enamored by the name of a court. Oh, the Grand Supreme uh, Supersized uh, Justice Court Center, Olympia, so, you know. It's ridiculous. What the hell does it matter what the hell the name of the court building is? The guy just, the older man had to say, is I require any man or woman who's in possession of stolen property to restore it or return it immediately. That's all he wanted to say. Yeah, let me see. I'm just going to read that email real quick, and then uh, I'll, I'll say hey to Gus here real quick. But let me let me get that man's email real quick here. And uh, yeah, his man's name is H U G H U Prasad. He says I'm about to be Japan. Uh, I'm about to be jailed, deported, stripped of my child, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I would desperately like to talk to you. I've been exposed to news. The uh, da 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 on January 16th. 2015, I delivered an affidavit to a judge on which she read out loud, I, as a man, require the Ontario Court of Justice to restore my property. She then hurried up into the decision and refused to let the Brenton's, Grant Ford's Children's Aid Society respond. So I have no idea why he, as a man, requires Ontario Court of Justice to restore. How, how, how could he require a tree or a rock or a piece of paper, or a book, or a title, to restore anything. They don't have arms, they don't have legs. How are they going to restore it? How are they going to pick it up and deliver it upon you? How are they going to do it? So like I said, he, he actually got the judge to say it, and then he says after she realized what she said, you know, she she hurried it up. Because, honestly, he had he had them in the perfect position. It just like Catherine and Joe did, they had them in the perfect position just by saying, um... Yeah, um, by the way, yeah, we're walking out the door now. Yeah, 
Um, yeah, by the way, yeah, we got a trial coming up. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and, uh, exactly who is uh, Her Majesty the Queen? Exactly who's going to appear here? And uh, who, who's the party we've done wrong? Yeah, who, who, who is, the Majesty, is Her Majesty the Queen? Is she on a piece of paper up here that says Her Majesty the Queen? Exactly who's Her Majesty the Queen? And is she going to appear? You know, is there a reason why she didn't write to us and, and tell us that we are uh, we have a situation here and that if we don't settle it out of court, she's going to drag our ass into court? Is, is there some reason why, you know, who's Her Majesty the Queen? Can you just answer that for me before we leave today? So like I said, when people, it's, it's so simple to set these folks up. And then you guys go do some crazy shit like this guy did. He says, I delivered an affidavit to a judge. Now, where, where, where on planet Earth have you ever seen the word affidavit? Where? where? Where's the, okay, let me put it this way. Where's the only place on planet Earth where you see the word affidavit? A court. In legalese. You don't, you don't hear that in everyday common parlance. You don't hear every everyday man walking down the street and says, oh, did you see that affidavit? On a bulletin board downtown. No, they said, did you see the notice? On a bulletin board at work. Did you see the notice at school? Did you see the notice on a, on a fence downtown? Did you see the notice? How many people say, oh, did you see the, the, the affidavit on a bulletin board at work? It's ridiculous. So this guy gets exactly what he deserves. If he wants to talk legalese and he wants to be, you know, uh, under the control and jurisdiction and authority of, the, of this uh, this court of Ontario, Ontario Court of Justice, well, he just he just did it. He did it to himself. And I got no pity for him. Because I always listened to my show. Because he got the one sentence down, but for some ungodly reason, he decided to put Ontario Court of Justice. Now the judge is never going to let this guy put another piece of paperwork into that courthouse. I guarantee it. She's going to be like, oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no more paperwork from this guy. No more. Uh-uh. Because he's going to fix it and he's going to get it right next time. Oh, no. We ain't playing this game with him. Same thing like with Catherine and Joe. They had one shot to trap the other side into saying who the plaintiff was. And then when the, the poor prosecutor couldn't figure out what to say, he was like, I don't know, the, the, the monarch of Canada? And she was like, oh, uh, Queen Elizabeth. Okay. There's no monarch of Canada. That's ridiculous. There's no monarch of New Zealand. There's no monarch of the United States. There's no monarch. What monarch? What are you talking about? Is she Queen Elizabeth? Is she Queen Elizabeth? Or is she monarch Elizabeth? Which one is she? There's no synonyms in law. Is it Her Majesty the Queen? Is it Queen Elizabeth? Which one is it? There's two different things. Her Majesty the Queen and and Queen Elizabeth is not the same. Why? Because it's not spelled the same. There's no synonyms in law. It's expressed, not implied. You guys are too damn small for your own damn good. If you were speaking a foreign language, and it was a nice little simple word, like, uh, like say, um, uh, uh, say, 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 it was, say it was a, something simple, like, say it was something simple like that. Instead of using the word contui, you use like identification. Well, it doesn't sound like it means the same thing. It's like, well, you know, driver's license ID, it's the same thing. No, it's not. Driver's license and ID is not the same. The Majesty of the Queen and Queen Elizabeth is not the same. But you could have Her Majesty the Queen of the Philippines, Her Majesty the Queen of Russia, Her Majesty the Queen of Istanbul, you know, wherever, Kazansak, wherever. Her Majesty the Queen is not the same as Queen Elizabeth. Just before you say Her Majesty the Queen, it doesn't revert to always meaning Elizabeth. It could mean some other queen. It could be some other Her Majesty. It could be Her Majesty. It could be the name of a, of a breakfast food cereal company. It doesn't mean it's the woman. It doesn't have to mean it's that woman. It's just like I say to people all the time. It's when I say to people, the United States. Everybody just thinks it's it has something to do with uh, some landmass that's between Canada and Mexico and Atlantic and Pacific. Some for some ungodly reason, 
almost every single person. Almost every single person who's listening to my show will swear that the United States is a landmass between Canada, Mexico, Atlantic, and Pacific. Almost every, I guarantee almost every single person. I've said this hundreds of times on these shows, and this is getting ridiculous. Because just south of us is called the United States of Mexico. That's right. They got they got many states like Chihuahuas down there. They got Wara. You know, they got a whole bunch of states down there, independent states, and they formed a federation, a federal government that's called the United States of Mexico. There's dozens of countries on planet Earth that are called the United States. So just to say, well, there's only one United States. Oh, really? So there's just one Her Majesty the Queen. Oh, really? Really? Are you sure about that? There's just one queen on the entire planet. You you tell me there's no other queens on planet Earth. Or Her Majesty the Queen can't be the name of a breakfast food company in uh, Switzerland. I don't know. And I don't care. All I know is I haven't gotten any communications from no woman saying I've done anything wrong to her. And until then, I got no obligation, duty, responsibility to any Her Majesty the Queen. It's that simple. I don't know why you guys make it so damn difficult. You know, then these guys ask me for help all the time. And it's, just, it's just exhausting. You keep saying the same thing over and over. It's like, I know the guy listened to my show. He must have. He did it in one sentence. So he's got a pretty good idea. And then when I say, oh, oh, well, gee, man, I, uh, oh, I'm sorry about that. Look, Lord, look, dude, don't apologize to me. I'm telling you, the court's not going to give you another shot at it. It's like you tried to come in, you tried to nail them, and they're going to see it coming again. They're not going to let you get away with it. They're not going to let you put no paperwork in. You didn't mess me up, dude. You messed yourself up. How do you cure that? I don't know. Because now they see it coming. And you had one good shot at it, one like one trick shot. And it's like, oh, that's your trick shot. Okay, how many other trick shots do you have? Well, I don't have any. I just knew that one, call. That's right. You haven't listened to like 300 hours worth of shows. Well, no. Well, then you got no other trick shot, do you? No. Well, then how long do you think it's going to take you to land another trick shot? And then when they see you coming, like they did with Catherine and Joe, they realize these folks are just going to try to say, hey, the plaintiff must appear. And they go, yeah, and we're not going to make the plaintiff appear. Now what, smart guy? Now what are you going to do? They're like, uh, 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 what's the next trick we could do? That's right. They don't know. Because they did it one step at a time. They say, oh, well, you got to come in there with a whole, uh, you know, entourage. you got to come in there with, you know, every every single thing that they could possibly throw at you. you got to practice this stuff and be ready for it. So it's nice to catch them off guard the first time, but they're not going to do it twice. They're going to see you coming and say, oh, no, we're not playing with these people. So you got one shot at being slick. And then after that, they're just going to ignore you. They'll say, you know what? They'll say, you know what? Sue us. And then what do you do? Do you really know how to sue them? Yeah, good luck with that. And then I would say, well, go listen to another four or five hundred hours worth of my shows. When you could have got it done with one sentence the first time, just do the first sentence right. Then you get them stuck in an open court, like, oh, you got them, you got them with the pants pulled down. Like, okay, now, now what do we do? Ha ha. I got you. How do you answer that, Judge? What's the answer to that? And I'm not moving an inch until you answer. I, I, I'm not moving an inch until somebody in this court answers. You're going to provide an answer. Or I'm going to go above you and I'm going to force an answer. You're going to answer me. But like I said, you know, if you guys don't know how to do it, then you just better get your, your one sentence correct when you go into the court. You drop that notice before them. And that's it. And I read it out loud and I go, holy cow, now what do we do? Cat's out of the bag. How do we get it back in? This guy's got us. He tricked us. I give. I got you. I tricked you. Uh huh. 
to guide them how to finish it up. With that little affidavit in there. He said the judge just hurried up, didn't let the other side say anything. And she closed up the show. He said, hey, 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 you got a notice. Oh, he didn't have a notice. He had an affidavit. See, he couldn't even say there's a notice before the court. He says an affidavit before the court. Yeah, and what he do? Did you give him a notice? No. Is it the same as an affidavit? Hell no. Did you have your claim there? saying that you're going to sue whoever is uh, holding your property, you know, unlawfully, illegally, naked possession, however you want to word it, whatever possession. So you, they got stolen property in their possession, and you require it to be restored immediately. 